Hey guys, Justice Curry with you. I wanted to do kind of an unboxing show and tell of a big collection I just bought. Um, most of it is going to be for sale. So if you see something you want, this is He-Man Classics figures. Um, I'm going to put in the description the ones that are available that I'm not uh, keeping or the ones that I already sold. And check that and PM me. Just shoot me a message. And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, just there'll be a link to my profile. Click on it. Hit me, send me a message. Also, I have in the description what's available. So check that first before messaging me, and I'll have prices and whatnot. But my buddy Ben, uh, oh jeez, there it is. Ben and I met up a yesterday. Um, I post videos all the time, and I say, hey, I buy toy collections. If you want to thin out part of your toy collection or all of it, hit me up. And he hit me up. It was a uh, subscriber on my YouTube channel and, and checked out one of my videos and he goes, you know what? I, I want to stay with vintage He-Man. I don't necessarily need these classic figures and we came to a deal. I really haven't gone into these. So that's why I want to go into them with you together. So let's check it out. Something you'll probably never see anywhere else is two, not one, but two Maddie collectible uh, Snake Mountains. Um, one's mine, one I picked up from Ben yesterday. Uh, sorry, this one's already spoken for. My buddy's been wanting it for a while. But I have some bins of a ton of figures, some really desirable classic figures. So again, if you see something, I do payment plans as well. Um, so you just hit me up, go, I'm interested in this one. Make sure it's available first in the description. You'll see the price and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. So let's go through them, because literally, I didn't do this with him. This could be filled with bricks, <laughs> for all I know. Um, picked up an awesome Castle Brick Skull as well. Let's check them out. I'm gonna sit down, is that fine? Oh, well, first one. Shadow Weaver, the Classics version of Shadow Weaver is awesome. This one's really nice addition, love it. I'm glad that Ben individually bagged these because a lot of times when I buy collections, people throw everything into the bin and then I gotta spend an extra four hours matching up weapons, which is a labor of love. I, I don't care, I like it. Dial-A-Mug, he's pretty awesome. He was a club exclusive, I believe. Some of them I'm gonna have rusty knowledge on the actual names of him um the new adventures line i can't remember i could barely get rid of this figure about four years ago but apparently he's kind of desirable hey, now no. hey guys go upstairs. mommy and i are going to do a little video real quick go upstairs. you want to say hi say hi hi <laughs> There you go. Okay. All right. King Randall right here. Go upstairs. Go. How's the, uh, can you see him through the, the plastic? Is there too much? It's a lot of reflection. A lot of reflection. Well, you guys get the picture. I mean, if you're watching this video and you're this far along in it, you probably like He-Man figures and you can tell or know what they look like. Um, and if you want better pictures of a certain figure, they're all complete. They don't have any funky smells. And if you want some more uh, details about it or whatnot, I'll, I'll feel free to send you some pictures. Sarad, I wish they made the spark. Nah, it's too much of a, a hazard now. But the vintage one had a sparking function where he shot sparks out of his mouth with the classic one. Not so much. Probably didn't want to get sued. I don't know all the She-Ra figures' names. I don't know. Is this Perfuma? I, I'm not going to try to even guess. Uh, Hero from Preternia. Pretty cool figure. Along the same lines, Eldor as well. Unproduced figures that they were planning on doing at the end of the vintage line. Um, they had some prototypes made up, but He-Man just didn't... They, for whatever reason, the line kind of fizzled out and they didn't mass produce them. But they remade them in the Classics version, which is sweet. Manny Faces. Whiplash. Oh, I love this one. King Grayskull. Uh, there's a Spirit of King Grayskull as well I have in my collection, which is kind of like translucent and glows. I don't remember his name, Mark. 
Mephesto, something like that. Uh, extender. Ooh. Sorceress. Nice. This Evil Lynn version I like a lot. Check this out. Because she came with like a little baby screech. Or is that Zor? Zor is the good one, Screech is the bad one, I think. But Evil Lynn. Again. Oh, yeah, buddy. Everyone loves Scare Glow. Um, high demand on him. That's why he's going to be probably a couple hundred bucks. Again, I'll have prices in the description. Um, but I'm pretty sure he's available. So if he doesn't sell, I'll update the list as well as they sell. Um, so don't message me until you look at the list to see if it's available, that I have a price next to it, then send me a message. Uh, definitely keeping this figure. Um, one of the few comics that I kept growing up was the one where He-Man, he got enslaved and he had to battle, I think this is Lodar, and this was from the mini comics in Classics lines. They never made them vintage, obviously, but classics lines this holds like nostalgia bottled together um web store webster i mean i don't remember what what her name is hawk hockey hawk, um hordak the exclusive one of the conventions that came it was a lighter blue it came with an imp that's Shadow Beast and She-Ra, not my uh, knowledge of She-Ra is lacking, sorry. Ooh, really cool one. This one I'm probably going to keep. Oh, it's even really spiky. Spikor. Love the vintage version, so I need to keep that one. Maybe, I don't know. Look at the description. If I'm selling them, if I decide to sell them, I will. Another She-Ra character. Lizard dude. Not very popular. I'm just probably going to sell very cheap. And I'm going to undercut eBay. You know, you, uh, you'll get better deals than eBay. Yes. Nice. Ooh. Queen, whatever her name was before she came to uh, Eternia and became He Man's mother. But there's a Cringer that came packaged with her. Lady Marlene? But she had a name before it, I can't remember. I know, I don't have all the knowledge in my brain that you're going to put in the comments. How? Oh, you're not a real He Man collector. Yes, I am! I am a real He-Man collector, I just don't have an encyclopedia brain. Bo. No, that's not. Yeah, it's Bo. Big old... This is Monkey Man, that's his name. No. Uh, another Hordak. Ooh, super desirable figure, Trap Jaw. Another desirable one, Beast Man. Ah, yes. Prince Adam and Orko. Tongue Lashore. Ooh. The, uh, the Tila from one of the books that gave He-Man his weapons. One of the many different origin stories, but uh, she's kind of translucent. They showed her like in a cave or something. Seed, trap, uh, triclops. Never owned this one before. It comes with a cool ring, like the vintage one. Faker, my personal favorites. We've got a Panthor. This one is impressive. Very impressive. Why he's probably going to be $150 or something because he's awesome. 
And we made so many of these. Battle Cat. Um, is that She-Ra? Of course, Adora, I mean. And then you got, obviously, He-Man. Skelly. More totes. Not much. Um, sorry, I, I made a post on my profile when I did the deal with Ben and uh, had this hanging up for showing it. And it was the con exclusive one, which is red instead of uh, green. Someone already purchased it. Uh, my favorite set, and I got the, the shipper box for this as well if you want it, but my absolute favorite set of the line. I think it's hilarious, Molar and Skeletor, and it's the Skeletor. Uh, he looks the same, but he has a different head that was exclusive with the set, and he's missing a tooth. And there's the tooth that Mr. Molar uh, ripped out of him. So if you don't own this, buy it. It's freaking awesome. I have one on display over there. And then the two giants. He, uh, why am I drawing a map? Why am I drawing a blank here? Titus and why do I want to say Metlar? That's the humanoids. Sorry. When I'm put on the spot, I can't remember. A uh, bunch of other sets. Megacor. Metlar. Uh, some stands. These are real cool stands that you can set the figures, the foot pegs on, and then display them with the Castle Gray Skull motif. Is that the right word? Motif? Let's just say this. Let's pretend I'm smart. Well, uh, ooh, yeah. Some miscellaneous heads that probably go with some of the sets. Oh, okay. So I gotta just match these up later. Like, Moss Man came with two different heads, and here's one. I'll put them in the baggie. Or Fang, or okay, this is a real cool figure. So, uh, if you buy any of these from me, I'll make sure that I get the right head and, or sorry, the right accessories and match them up to the baggies here. We got another version of Hordak. The impressive Battle Ram. I came with Man at Arms. <laughs> That's cool. I remember when they were clearance in those things. They should have bought a ton of them. Duncan, Man at Arms, came with that battle ram. There's some accessory packs that you could buy. I think I had the boxes for them, but it was just a lot of different shields and harnesses, axes, what have you. We got Squeeze. Another accessory weapons pack. Um, thought I had one of these on display somewhere. It's the the three pack where it has one figure and three sets of weapons that were like part of the pre-production process when they were coming up with the He-Man line. One has like a tank head. One has like a Boba Fett helm helmet. A really really neat set. Merman. Sweet Bee, Sweet, I don't remember her name. Hurricane Hordax, oh, that's a really cool figure. Sentimental to me, big time. Clawful. Boyd, I can't remember his name. It's like some concept figure of a kid that won the, oh. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what I'm talking about. So I'll, sometimes I pretend like I know what I'm talking about. Other times, I have rusty knowledge. <laughs> Fangor, one of my personal favorites. Uh, super impressive figure with the giant tusk coming out. Um, Dragster. E-Man, Battle Armor. Real Blast. The uh, Skeletor from Space. We got Moss Man. Even still smells good. <laughs> we got him up on display upstairs. My wife maybe hasn't seen yet. Perfuma, I'm guessing. Can't remember her name. Sky Clone. I love the chest of Sky Clone. Tila, 
different heads. More She-Ra. The weird rabbit character. It's like 15 or 20 bucks probably. Holiday He-Man, I got the box for him. He-Man with the Santa hat and the uh, candy cane um, sword. <laughs> I don't remember your name. Oh yeah, Slush Head. That's a real cool one in the modern line. Nice. I think I have his box over there someplace, along with Multibot. Yep, I got Multibot's box. King Hiss. It's a really cool one. I love the how you can change them out with the snake King Hiss. This is either a palace guard or man at arms, I can't tell. Another She-Ra. Clamp champ. Oh yeah. What's that? The pirate guy from She-Ra. Another new adventure figure. Drawing a blank on his name. Buzz off. Frosty guy. This one's super scary. Again, drawing a blank on his name. And last but not least, another figure from uh, that mini comic with Lodar that I was talking about that's like, super sweet um, was in here. I think that pretty much covers it. So if you see a figure that you want, again, check the description, make sure that it's available. You'll see a price next to it. Otherwise it'll say sold or something. And then if you're on YouTube, click on my link to my Facebook profile, send me a uh, message. If you're not on Facebook and you're watching this on YouTube, uh, put in there in the comments that you go on Facebook and we can communicate some other memes, whether it's email. And then for my Facebook people, if you see something, you want a bunch of figures, it's first come, first serve. I go through the messages and if you commit, we'll make a plan and I'll get tracking numbers, etc. and have some of these treasures become your treasures. And likewise, if you ever see something, uh, if you have stuff in your collection you want to thin out, I'll be your guy. I love this stuff. I get to keep a few of these pieces for my personal collection, spread them all through the world. So thank you again, Ben. You guys have a blessed day. Take care. Love you all. Peace.